Hello friends, welcome to my Terry Joe is on the go series. Today we are in Newark, Delaware. We're standing at the intersection of Chapel and East Main Street. Newark was founded by Scots Irish and Welsh settlers in 1694 and incorporated in 1758. Newark is home to the University of Delaware. We'll be taking a look at the campus a little later. Newark is about 14 miles from Wilmington, Delaware and 46 miles south of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. During the American Revolutionary War, British and American forces fought outside of Newark at the Battle of Cooch's Bridge. Friends, tradition has it that during the Battle of Cooch's Bridge, the stars and stripes were flown for the first time during battle. It is a beautiful day here in Newark, Delaware today, friends. Abundance of sunshine and a high of 74 degrees. Ah, oh, thank you, Mother Nature. <laughs> a lot of activity on East Main Street today. Well, friends, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Duck Donuts is no more. Yes, it's closed. No more coffee and donuts. Uh, I think I'm going to weep. But fear not, friends. A new donut shop is coming soon. And there it is. Where God closes a door. He opens a window. But if you're not in the mood for a donut, fear not, oh great one. The original Hot Bagels is right next door. A lot of historical buildings here in Newark. The town itself has a lot of history especially when it comes to academics. And we have a doggy dog. Well, hello, Mr. Doggy Dog. And how are you today? <laughs> well, isn't he darling? There's a lot of activity here today. Well, it is a college town, and it is a beautiful day here today in Newark. One of Newark's major sources of employment and revenue was Chrysler's Newark Assembly Plant, which was built in 1951. It's interesting to note, Jamaican reggae star Bob Marley was employed at the plant as an assembly line worker during his short stint in Delaware in the 1960s. The Chrysler Newark Assembly Plant closed in 2008. We are now at the intersection of Academy and East 
Main Street. Swing it around, friends. Oh, the pretty cherry blossom. Gelato. Yummy yum. I love older buildings. That particular building, it has character. I think you'd have to be 45 and older to remember the old Hoys 5 and 10. That was nickels and dimes, friends, not 5 and $10. <laughs> A sign of inflation is the old Hoy's 5 and 10 was replaced by today's dollar store. That's right, friends. So let's go take a look and see what National 5 and 10 has in store for us. Well, just as I suspected, 5 and 10 does not translate into nickels and dimes. Well, it looks like it's mostly merch for the University of Delaware and for the state of Delaware. Perhaps it's merch for all things Delaware. Well, all it takes is a good mascot to get the rally going. Friends, Terry Joe coming back at you here. We are heading towards the University of Delaware. One thing I wanted to explain, it is very difficult for me to compete with all of the stimuli and the noise coming at me from motorcycles, people chatting, of course, traffic, everything. I need to get a microphone and that I am going to do. But because I cannot talk over the noise, there will be voiceover in this video. So I apologize for that, but I don't want my voice and what I'm trying to communicate to be muffled out by all of that. <laughs> so anywho, there you have it, friends. I hope everyone's having a good Saturday. I know I am. And like I said earlier, oh, Mother Nature's been very good to us today. Abundant of sunshine. And if you can see behind me, people are dressed for the spring. Well, oh, there you go. People are dressed for the spring. Some people even for the summer. It is 74 degrees. And uh, who could ask for anything more? Peace, my friends. Love and Pink Floyd. Catch you on the other side. One of the things that I like about Newark is there's something for everyone. It's not only a melting pot of residents, but it's a melting pot of retail as well.
friends were swinging around to Grotto Pizza. Grotto Pizza is located in Delaware only, and they're throughout the state of Delaware. I'm not a big fan of Grotto Pizza, but they do have a fan base, and a strong fan base it is. They're quite successful, and let's face it, they would not have success if they didn't have a fan base. So kudos to you, Grotto Pizza. Friends, I am overlooking the beautiful campus of the University of Delaware. Our President Joseph Biden and First Lady Jill Biden are alumni of the University of Delaware. Other notable alumni include politicians Tom Carper, Steve Smith, and former Governor Chris Christie. This is Old College, the oldest and most recognized building on the University of Delaware campus. And this is another view of the green at the University of Delaware. Beautiful campus, friends. And we're looking at East Main and swinging around. Yeah, as mentioned before, they call this area the green. Ah, hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> we are now in another section of the University of Delaware. And I believe the building ahead of me with the white pillars is known as the Memorial. Actually, it's Memorial Hall. A closer view of Memorial Hall. And this is Gore Hall. Beautiful building. Hello, doggy dog. Well, aren't you pretty? Is the doggy a, a girl or a girl. Boy, a girl doggy? And what's her name? Zuri. Zuri. Well, hello, Zuri. She's just taking it all in. I know. She just loves it. She does. Oh, isn't she pretty? And how old is Zuri? Eight. Eight years old. Oh, my goodness. She's the queen of the campus uh-huh yeah, uh -huh. she's waiting to be crowned homecoming queen <laughs> well thank you for allowing me to meet zuri it's a pleasure to meet you pleasure. Thank you. actually friends i misspoke i said this was the memorial it's actually memorial hall so just wanted to clear that up pretty building and let's see what's beyond the arches we're now on the other side of Memorial Hall Looking at the DuPont Laboratory and swinging around to the another section of the campus here at University of Delaware. Now this is behind Memorial Hall. Allison Hall.
This is the Morris Library. The state granted a charter to a new school in 1833, which was called Newark College. Newark Academy and Newark College joined together in the following year, becoming Delaware College. The school was forced to close in 1859, but reopened 11 years later when it became a joint venture between the state of Delaware and the school's Board of Trustees. In 1913, Delaware College came to sole ownership of the state of Delaware and was renamed the University of Delaware in 1921. This is the Campus Bookstore. Well friends, that'll be it for today's video. Thanks so much for joining me on today's adventure to Newark, Delaware.